Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new video here on the channel. Today we are back in Avengers. They just released the new update, which is, from what I can tell, free. And with that update, we get access to our new character, Kate Bishop. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at everything she brings and uh, see how the update is. If you enjoy this video, go ahead and press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get into the video. All right, so the first thing I wanted to do is check out the cosmetics. This right here is the iconic outfit that you get just by default. Um, and then we have other outfits. This is a purchasable outfit. We have Variants of that uh, They're currently locked. You can get that by doing the challenge card and Okay, so this is the level 51 right here, which is pretty cool So then we have some other ones uh, from patterns that one right there That one's a, a nice little variant. I like that one and another variant of that. We then have the Hawkwing outfit, our Hawking bird, which looks pretty cool. You can buy that. Signature style, that's a really good one. And I think this is just a, another variant of that. Yeah. And so are these. We have this outfit here, very casual. This outfit, just a variant of that. I think these are all variants of that right there. And then we come down to the next line. We have this outfit, biker chick, I guess. And then uh, go back down. Looks like we have a few variants of that. And then we have this scarf outfit and a few variants of it. So that's basically her skins that you can unlock. Uh, emote wise, you know, they're pretty, pretty standard stuff. All right, so now we're gonna show off a bit of her abilities. Her main melee attack is gonna be the sword, which is pretty sweet, if you ask me. I think it's probably my favorite out of all the characters. Uh, her shooting, of course, is going to be her bow. She does have three types of arrows, so you have your standard shot, you then have a multi-select here. And then we also have a, I guess, bomb arrow, which is a single target. And it basically lines up like so. See if we can get a shot off. There we go. So that's pretty cool. Now for her abilities, R1 is probably my favorite ability so far. You basically teleport and shoot in front of you. Uh, L1 is a decoy, which can be useful for sure. And her Overdrive just makes her arrows do more damage and she doesn't lose eccentric abilities. So speaking of eccentric abilities, we have a teleport that she can just teleport around, which pretty awesome ability, especially if you want to get away from something. Of course, it does use eccentric energy when you don't have your overcharge so you have to be a little bit careful about that but overall it's it's pretty awesome oh there we go that's a nice finisher right there and at this point of the video i don't really have any of her upgrades going so her combos are pretty basic at the moment but i think she's going to be very strong character honestly 
so far. I like her a lot, and I think I will probably main her going forward. It's just, it's really, really cool. Just teleport out of there. She can also parry stuff. I love that. Alright, let's take a look again at her right uh, R1 attack. So just a bunch of damage to all those around us, which is nifty. That was a nice finisher too. Oh yeah. So that's the gist of her, but I'll continue playing throughout this harm mission just to see. And then we'll also level her up some and upgrade her to take a look at her skill tree. All right, and to give a better look at her main ability, she can just spam arrows while she has that on. And do tons of damage. But now that the ability is off, as you see, it's gotten a little bit slower, but it's still pretty effective. So here we have it again. I'll just pop that on. Of course, all the enemies are not facing me. But that damage right there. Alright, so we've got a few of the uh, skill points, but I wanted to take a look at some of the extra abilities. That she gets looks like Ariel would be pretty good tornado blade pretty good so that's her light attack for her heavy attack oh that's pretty sweet sprinting while lunge forward yeah that's nice aerial power attack pretty good and then of course more. Yeah, okay, I like those. For her ranged, interesting. I don't know that I actually selected that. But, so we have perfect draw, aiming, reticle flashes. Okay, some more damage, critical chance, that's pretty good. Mark three enemies, so basically like an aiming system. I, I will probably need that. That's pretty good. Trick shot. Hmm. Debuff, okay. Pretty good. So her eccentric abilities. Hold R2, press square to teleport over an enemy and attack with a sword strike. That's 10% increased chance to inflict critical attack. Pretty good. Quantum strike. After performing quantum blitz, continue holding R2, press square, square, to execute a series of follow-ups. So we get the gist there for specialty. However, so we have superhero, superhero ability. It looks like this is decoy upgrades. Those are pretty nice. Assault heroic ability, which will be warp arrow upgrades. And that is a really awesome ability, so I'd definitely upgrade that. And then we have this, which is the ultimate hero. Press L1 and R1 to continuously overcharge the intrinsic meter with quantum energy that overflows to power up all ranged and melee attacks. Pretty good. Well, let's look at the mastery here. Okay, so we have ranged mastery different specializations heavy draw okay so we have ranged melee and intrinsicate and then intrinsicate overcharge pretty good now let's take a look at the challenge card so 
We'll look at the different rewards here. One thing I noticed though is you have to activate the cards. You get some of them for free, but there's some you actually have to activate. So this is going to be the first character where not everything is free. And to me, that kind of really sucks. I mean, I understand it was free, basically. So they've got to get their money somehow. But really, I mean, it does kind of suck. So we have the different costumes. That costume's pretty good. Except, of course, you have to activate it. And that's a pretty good amount of credits right there. Well, okay, I see. You have to unlock it depending on how far you go. Let's see here. So this first one... Oh, I went way back. So this first one here... Let's see if I activate it. Okay. So, how do I activate it? Looks like... It doesn't even tell me... Tell me how much to activate it. Oh, okay. A thousand. I see that. So, in order to get those rewards, you have to spend a thousand credits. I guess it's not too horrible, but still. Okay, and so we only get rewards up to level 40, and that's the last one. Okay. Yeah. So, overall, I mean, I really like the character, she's a lot of fun. And it definitely spices things up in Avengers, which they definitely needed. But is it enough? I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will catch you in the next one. As always, thanks for watching. <laughs>